Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be doing a fraction review. So a quick refresher on adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions. If you're looking for more of an in-depth explanation, I dropped the links to those videos below in the description. But if you're just looking to brush up on your skills or a quick reminder on how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions, then this is the video for you. So let's jump right into number one here where we have addition, 5 eighths plus 1 third. Now with adding fractions, we cannot just start adding straight across. We need to make sure we have a common denominator first. So our denominators are an eight and a three. So the common denominator for fractions will be whatever the least common multiple is. And the least common multiple for eight and three is 24. So I'm going to rewrite these fractions below with a denominator of 24. So what we need to do now is rename them using equivalent fractions so they both have a denominator of 24. So I know 8 times 3 gives me 24. So in order to get an equivalent fraction, I need to do the same thing to the top. So 5 times 3 is 15. So 5 eighths is equivalent to 15 24ths. Now for 1 third. 3 times 8 gives me that 24, so I need to do the same thing to the top. 1 times 8 is 8. So now that I have the renamed fractions with a denominator of 24, I can add my numerators. 15 plus 8 is 23. And you always keep your denominator the same, whatever that common denominator is, which it is 24. Then check to see if your answer can be simplified. If there's a common factor that I can divide both my numerator and denominator by. Well, the only common factor is one here. So we are in simplest form. Our answer is 23 24 ths so number two, on to subtraction. And subtraction is the same exact thing as addition. You just subtract instead of add. So we have one half minus two fifths. We obviously don't have a common denominator there, so we are not able to subtract right off the bat. So we need to find a common denominator, which again is going to be your least common multiple. So two and five, our least common multiple is going to be 10. I know 2 times 5 is 10. 1 times 5 is 5. So 1 half is equivalent to 5 tenths. Now on to 2 fifths here. 5 times 2 gives me that denominator of 10. So 2 times 2 gives me 4. Now I'm ready to subtract. Five minus four is one. And we keep our denominator of 10 the same. So one tenth is our answer. Now you always look to simplify just like number one there, but our only common factor between one and 10 is one. So we are in simplest form. Number three, multiplying fractions. So with multiplying fractions, we do not need a common denominator. You actually just multiply straight across. So you go numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. So two times one is two and eight times four is 32. So that's our answer. Now this fraction can be simplified. There's a common factor between 2 and 32, so we can break this fraction down. The common factor between 2 and 32 is 2. So I can divide both of them by 2, and I will get the equivalent fraction, which is our simplest form of 2 over 32, which 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 32 divided by 2 is 16. So our simplest form Answer here is 1 16th. Number four, 5 sixths 
divided by two sevenths. Now for dividing fractions, we keep, switch, and flip. So whatever our first fraction is, we always keep it. We switch the division sign to multiplication and we flip the second fraction. So the seven is going to be our numerator and the two is going to be the denominator. Keep, switch, flip. Five times seven is 35 and six times two is 12. This gives us an improper fraction and we don't want to leave it like that. We want to convert this to a mixed number. So essentially it's 35 divided by 12. How many whole 12s can we pull out of 35? And that's going to be our whole number. And so if we think about it, if we count up by 12s, 12, 24, 36. So three 12s is a little bit too much. So it's only going to be two whole 12s which gets us to 24. That means we have 11 left over as our remainder and we keep our denominator of 12 the same. So again, I did 35 divided by 12. Two whole 12s can be pulled out of 35 with 11 left over and you keep your denominator of 12 the same. And 11 twelfths cannot be simplified, so we are done with number four. So there you have it. There's adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions. Again, this was meant to be a review. So if you need more examples or more in-depth instruction, uh, I dropped the links to those videos below in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.